Hello, Mike Myler here, and today I'm going to show you how to build a dry erase board, a 4x8 dry erase board for $20. You can literally build a dry erase board for $20. Um, I went online researching dry erase boards and found they're between two and three hundred dollars. So I recall seeing sheets of a material like this at Home Depot. Turns out it is the same material. So I'm going to walk you through exactly step by step how I did it. So here it is. Basically, I first went online looking for a large dry erase board. Now keep in mind, um, they will cut these for you. But these were the prices I saw online. And I thought, before I spend 400 bucks on a dry erase board, I'll at least um, look at that material. So I ended up going to Home Depot. And here's what I would recommend you do. The first thing you do is go to the lumber section and get a lumber cart. And this material can be found in that section. It is called an eighth inch four by eight white hardboard. And by me, it's 948 a sheet. I went looking for some type of vinyl or something to have the unfinished edge finished and they didn't have them there. Uh, they were out of stock on the end caps. So I checked out for $10.19 with my sheet of hardboard and I head over to Lowe's. Um, when I got to Lowe's, I, I see they have eighth inch mirror mounts, metal, so and they have that slot so I can hide the head of the screw when I mount them. So here they did have that end cap, the white end caps that I needed. I bought three of them, one eight foot, you know, there are three eight foot sections. I'm gonna put one on top, one on bottom, and I check out for here for $11.15. And these are the tools and items you're going to need to put the board together and up. I basically, this is where I mount it in my studio. I looked for more recessed screws because the screws they had were more like machine screws. And I thought they may, might get in the way. Um, these channels, you know, they're slotted. So you want them all the way up on bottom and all the way on uh, the other way on top. So I cut the one eight foot section at four feet. And that will be the side caps. And then the two eight foot sections that are left will run along the top. They fit perfectly. Um, it's a finished edge because normally when you look at it, they're a little scuffed. And you don't want to hang it like that. So spent two bucks. I ran some Elmer's glue into the channel so they'd stay, stay secure. And that's what the board looks like when it's mounted. Um, looks just like a $400 dry erase board and performs exactly the same way. So again, um, basically just go to Home Depot, buy this laminate piece, buy three white end caps, um, cut one in half for the four foot sides, mount these mirrored, they're, they're exactly an eighth inch so they fit perfect on this finished edge, eighth inch mirror hangers. Um, once you put the board in position, I took some adhesive, double faced adhesive squares and put one on each corner so it won't move but it's secure and it works perfect I um, teach people how to start and run an internet business online so that's why I needed this large board in my studio for tutorials that I do um, if you do any type of instruction or teaching kids how to even if you want to just mount this for a kids room or whatever to draw on for twenty dollars it is finished um, so I hope this helps you. I hope it saves you some money. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I do different types of um, DIY type pro projects. And I just basically show people stuff that I've learned, you know, on my channel. So if you want to stay connected, please subscribe. If you like the video, please hit the like button and we can hopefully stay connected. Have a good day. Thank you.